considered ever making rhubarb crisp. This is the recipe you'll want, and it really doesn't matter what kind of rhubarb you have. Now the ones that I've just collected, um, you know, they're pretty small. They're, they're not even as big as my little pinky here, or as my uh, little finger. So these are some bigger stocks, you can see. This is about as big as these get. As you can see, it's about as uh, big as my thumb. All right, a little bit bigger. I'm cutting off all the tops. So this uh, that I have in my hand right now is about, we'll make about three cups. Okay. Ooh, boo, it looks like you found a piece of rhubarb. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, maybe not for you. The family recipe for rhubarb crisp. This recipe, I use the 9x12 Pyrex glass. So now we take. One, approximately two, three, yeah, 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 that's about right. Okay. Essentially, you want to fill the bottom of this pan um, all the way. That's what you're doing. All right, just evenly spread. All right, next the recipe calls for a half cup of sugar. Uh, to be sprinkled over the rhubarb pieces. So just very simple, just take a half a cup of sugar. There you go. Next, the recipe says to dot with butter. How much was that? Well, from my experience, it takes about a half a stick of butter to dot the top. So you want to use about a half a stick or more. <laughs> that'll that'll melt down into the the sugar and just kind of just on its own through osmosis, it's going to spread around and caramelize as part of the baking process. Okay. Here's the part where we do the crisp part of the rhubarb crisp. There is a little trick um, having mostly to do with the mixing. Otherwise, the recipe, recipe is very straightforward. In a bowl, one cup of sugar. One cup of flour. Next, add one tablespoon. This is baking powder. Now I add a half a tablespoon of salt. Next, the recipe says, make a well and beat one egg with fork. Okay. All right, so now we have all the dry ingredients. I'm just gonna mix them up really nice. Here, just to make sure the salt is evenly distributed throughout the crumble, and the baking powder is evenly distributed throughout the... Um, and then, like the recipe says, make a, a little well, okay? And we're going to then beat one egg with a fork. Yeah, here I'm just kinda Beating the egg, just making sure it's a nice mixture. But okay, so here's the trick, all right? As you can see, the proportion of wet ingredients to dry ingredients is, is very heavy in dry ingredients. So in order for this to make a crisp, you gotta make sure that you're cutting in to that egg so that you get as many little pieces. So you wanna, you want that to be a good crumble. You don't want it to be just like a part with egg and a part a bunch of like loose flour. So 
So use the side of the fork and just keep cutting that in. All right. Takes a while, okay? But you don't want a big gluteny mass. What you want are a lot of little spatial sized piece, pieces of, of dough that have been coated with flour and sugar. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So now you can see it's not totally mixed, right? So you have a gluteny mass here and you have a lot of dry. So the point is you want to mix a lot. You want to cut that in and just keep cutting that in until until you have a really good strong crumble. And really, the only way to do this is by hand. You could not, there is no machine that could do this. Um, now, is it perfect? No, it's not. But we did turn this into a lot of little crumbly pieces. And that's what we want, okay? We want a lot of little crumbly pieces. Some of this loose flour and sugar, okay, that's gonna fall down um, into, the, into the cracks between the rhubarb pieces. Um, so that's the trick, okay? Okay. So now just spread the crumbles evenly across the top. You can see some of it's just loose, but you know you want to make sure that these crumbles are are small. They're not big chunks that are gonna you know turn into poofs of, of gluten. Okay, you want it crisp. So I'm gonna break up some of these that are still even stuck together. Right, it's kind of like all right. You see, I'm going to zoom in. It's a very nice crumbly texture. A little pinkish. And actually, I could put it in a little bit longer, I think. I, I actually think I had it in 40 minutes for the first timer. So I'm going to put it in for another five minutes. But um, otherwise, this is, this is ready to eat. And now we're ready to eat. And this is um, a, basically a serving suggestion with uh, the... Rhubarb crisp served with vanilla ice cream. That's my favorite way. Bon appetit.